Yo, what is up guys? I'm back with another custom character video in LEGO DC Super Villains. Uh, now today I have something a little bit different for y'all. Instead of making one character, I got two lined up for y'all. And that is Ember and Wade from the Pixar movie Elemental. So yeah, man, I wanted to make some more Pixar characters. And yeah, these two just are not really good. So I thought I'd show them with, uh, yeah, I thought I'd show them to you guys. Now the movie, uh, that's a whole other story. <laughs> I didn't, that's probably, this one here is probably one of my, uh, Elementals is probably one of my, uh, least favorite Pixar movies, especially in the last couple of years. It was okay, it was, it's pretty forgettable, but it was, it was fine, it was fine. The, the animation was cool and stuff, but I wasn't really a big fan of the movie. I know it, like, kind of flopped at first, it only made, like, 26 million or something, so it was, like, really bad at first. But then it like turned it all around and somehow ended up grossing like over 500 million, which is absolutely nuts. But yeah, it was it ended up being a success, uh, so that's that's good, I guess. But yeah, for the head, I went with Grails because she had red eyes, and Ember in the movie does have red eyes, which she has a five character, so you know it makes sense. And then for the hair, you obviously want to go with Firestorm because that's the only like flame effect of fire hair they have, so it works out good. Uh, now for the body, I went with. Um, the only one that I think works pretty good, I mean, I guess there are a, a few alternatives, but my favorite one was actually, okay, I guess it's going to be all the way down here. Yeah, there it is. It's Ravens, and you want to go ahead and just leave it black. I do like this this uh, torso because it does have the red belt, and she does have, like, uh, her black dress that she wears has, like, some red and orange and stuff like ember looking type stuff on her dress so the red just you know helps with that effect but i'm not a big fan of the purple but yeah you can't get rid of that unfortunately uh for the legs again i know she doesn't wear shorts uh she wears a dress so it's not shorts but yeah this is the best you know that i could do here i still think it looks fine it doesn't look that bad it doesn't look that weird um yeah i'm kind of speeding through this because i do have two characters to get through and yeah i don't want to take up too much time here yeah, I mean both these uh, both of these customs are really really simple designs. So, but yeah, I think my favorite one is probably Ember, just because she does have a little bit more to her, like her design and stuff. I mean, even in the movie, Wade is more like a simple, uh, his design is a lot more simpler than Ember, I would say. And yeah, for the hip, just make it black. And yeah, for the finishing touch, you want to go over to the effects and go with uh, both glow. I do wish, man, they, they, that like in the future, hopefully in the future LEGO games, they have uh, the option to where like you could have the glow effect on more than just the hands, you know? Like if you want the torso or the head or the leg or something, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, the final thing that I did with Ember was I just went over its personality. And then for the animation, I, I gave her the cool animation. And yeah, man, that's pretty much it for our custom Ember. Now let's go ahead and move on to our custom Wade. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with Wade. Man, I don't know if it was just me, but Wade was, it was a little annoying for me in the movie. <laughs> I mean, I know that's his character and stuff, but I don't know. Even, even Ember, she wasn't that likable for me, for me. But yeah, if you thought Ember was easy, this guy, this custom is, is even simpler. So yeah, for the face, I went over to just the, uh, the preset, or not the preset, but the, the generic heads they have. And then, uh, what did I do? Okay, yeah, I went with uh, custom head number 16. Uh, well, actually, was it 16? Actually, no. Let me see if there's a difference between that one and this one. Yeah, it's the same, right? Or am I tripping? I think it's the same. It's just the other one has, like, lines on on his cheeks. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just go with that one. Oh, shit, sure, I forgot the color. Uh, so for the color, I actually made it this right here. I made this blue right here a little bit uh, more lighter. This one I think is a. I mean, you could go with with any blue really, except for like this one because that's a little too dark. But even this one works. I think these three colors are fine. I went with the, the lightest one. And then for the uh, the facial decal color, I did make it a little bit darker because yeah, it's, uh, his hair is going to be a little bit darker. Uh, now for the hair, there are a few pieces you can use, but the one I found looks best was short number two. And then I went with, did I go with this one or this one? Actually, I think for the hair, I went with the, that one, the little bit brighter one. So let me actually change the uh, the facial decal color. Actually, you know what, I'll just leave it like that, yeah. Uh, now in the movie, he does wear like a like a purple shirt for the most part. He does, sometimes he is wearing like a, a yellow shirt with a tie and stuff because he works as a like a health inspector or something like that, or a city inspector. 
But uh, yeah, body number six works fine. You want to make the top uh, a dark purple, and then the bottom, I went ahead and made it a lighter purple. Uh, let's see. For the arms, I went all the way up to sleeves and just made them have some purple sleeves. And then for the uh, the bottom, I just made it match his skin tone like that. And then, yeah, pretty much for the rest of the custom, it's just going to be <laughs> uh, just his blue skin. Because, yeah, he doesn't wear pants or nothing, which is kind of funny. But, yeah, pretty much everything else is just uh, just blue. And actually, let me change the... Uh, I'm, I want to change the, the collar on his shirt because he his shirt does have, like, a white trimming uh, all, all around the edge. Like, around the collar and sleeves and stuff. So let me go change that real quick. Uh, right here, yeah. Color number one, I think I'll make it white. And yeah, man, that's pretty much it. So now all we gotta do is take Ember and Wade out to the Metropolis hub world and showcase them around for a bit. All right, guys, here they are. Our custom Ember and Wade from the Pixar movie Elemental in LEGO DC Super Villains. And yeah, man, I gotta say, I think they look good. Yeah, see? They look good. <laughs> like I said, Ember, she is my, my favorite one just because she has a little more to her. Wade's a lot more simpler. And I mean, even in the movie, his design is just a lot more simpler. But yeah, if you want to, you know, you can give him some water powers and stuff. I was, um, I don't know why he can fly. <laughs> I forgot to take that off. But I was debating on, on whether or not I should give him, like, effects on his hands, like a water effects or something. But, eh, it, does, it doesn't work as good as it does with Ember. It makes more sense with Ember because she has fire. And water doesn't really have the same effect as fire. But uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which one of these two is y'all's favorite. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. See you on the next one, guys. Uh, take care. Peace.